day for OU men's football. That's right, some possible new recruits coming? Yeah, that's, the, that's what I hear. Um, Ohio Bobcats head football coach Frank Solich is holding a press conference tonight at 5 to talk about the program's signing day. A reception will follow the presser at 6 on the second floor at Peden Stadium. Bobcat fans are encouraged to come and see the future of Ohio football. Video analysis of all recruits will be provided by Solich and his staff. In high school basketball, the Lady Bulldogs play the River Valley Raiders. The Raiders hosted the Bulldogs. Athens lost with a score of 55-61. to it was a non-TVC game, keeping them at 4-2 for the conference, but putting them at 9-7 overall. This was the Bulldogs' only matchup against the Raiders. The Bulldogs hit the court again Thursday against Nelsonville, York. And the Alexander Lady Spartans protected their hardwood last night against the Logan Chieftains. The Spartans' slow-paced and well-measured offense picked away at the Chieftains and earned a win for Alexander. Athens Midday reporter Jim Griffith was on the floor and has the highlights. As the final seconds of the game trickled away, the Alexander Spartans found themselves on top of the Logan Chieftains. The score, 43-33. Number 32 senior Morgan Grinstead and her Lady Spartans took their time on the outside arc, forcing the Chieftains to come out, which created scoring and foul opportunities according to Chieftains coach Pat Walsh. 32 did real well for them. Grinstead played well and we knew she would. Yeah, she's a good player. I mean, they're tough, they're patient. All of the teams are in the same conference. Both coaches feel this is a big game because Sunday they'll be seeded, and a good seed means a good tournament draw. Well, it's another win. Uh, it beats a loss when you're going into that tournament draw. So we're hoping it helps. Who knows? All of our, all of our players show up to play hard every day, and that's, that's starting to show, you know. Grinstead and the rest of the Spartans are already looking down court for a successful postseason. Hopefully we get good seeds for this tournament. I mean, we're definitely looking forward to uh, getting, uh, taking a good uh, tournament uh, run. Nobody better stop us, but we definitely want revenge on Oak Hill. I mean, last year they knocked us out of the tournament. This Sunday, the Spartans will get their tournament bid and will begin a grueling journey towards state. Reporting for Athens Midday, I'm Jim Griffith. The Lady Spartans pushed their record to 11-5 after last night's win. Their next challenge is an away game against the Makes Marauders. Alexander Boys basketball will be hitting the hardwood tonight at 8 against Amanda Clear Creek. The Spartans will play the game at home in the Alexander Alley. The team is currently 3-4 in the TVC and 6-9 and overall. Their most recent win was against the Megs Marauders in overtime. The Athens Bulldogs are facing off against the Nelsonville York Buckeyes tonight. The Bulldogs are 3 and 2 in the TVC and 6 and 9 overall. The Buckeyes have just one win in the TVC with four losses. The team is just 4 and 10 overall. The game begins at 7:30 in Nelsonville's Ben Wagner Gymnasium. Another TVC team will be shooting some hoops tonight. The Federal Hockey Lancers are away facing the Racine Southern Tornadoes. The Lancers sit at 3 and 8 in the TVC and 4 and 10 overall. In the last Lancers Tornado matchup, the Lancers came through with a 63-59 win in overtime. The game begins at 7.30. LeBron James faced his former team, the Cleveland Cavaliers, for the third time last night. The Cavs couldn't take the heat Miami brought, staying behind the entire game. In the second quarter, the Heat's Dwayne Wade hits a three, putting the heat up 52-33. Then in the third, the Cavs' Anton Jameson hits a long jumper, putting them just three down with a score of 70-67. Just a few plays later, Manny Harris has a fast break dunk after the heat, turning making the score 79-71, but still down in the fourth. Dwayne Wade drove for the layup, then got fouled. He makes the free throw, then Harris and LeBron share a moment at the end of the game. The heat burned the Cavs 117-90. This is the Cavs' 21st consecutive loss. Well, I mean, it seems pretty good for Athens. County basketball, but you know, not so much for the Cavs, which no. is a shame. But Lots of good high school games thanks, to look Rachel. forward to tonight. Thanks. Well, it's not quite the World Cup octopus, but it's an animal. It's large, and it might be psychic. While football fans everywhere are making their predictions for Super Bowl 45, an elephant at a Dallas zoo is too. Jenny the Elephant predicts the Packers will win Sunday's game between the Green Bay Packers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And just how did she choose this team as her favorite? Two watermelons painted with the team's colors were given to Jenny by the zoo. By stomping on and eating the Steelers' melon, Jenny indicated that she thinks the Packers will win. We'll tune in to Newswatch tonight for an interview with the avionics director about patrolling air traffic from the air. 
And tune in to Midday tomorrow to hear one OU student's family's reaction to him in Egypt. Have a great day.